Good morning, it's Cindy from DIY Beautify and today I have a great tip for you. Millie and I were out walking this morning and we spotted this little Christmas tree at the curb. Someone had thrown it out because as you can see, one of the legs on the tree stand was broken and so I guess they figured it was done for. So I went back in the car and picked this little guy up because a broken tree stand doesn't bother me. There's no reason that this little tree needs to go to the landfill. I'm going to show you a great tip for using a tree even if it has a broken tree stand. So I pulled off the tree stand and apparently there were two legs broken. All you need is a bucket and a couple of bricks. Now the size of your bucket will depend on the size of your tree. I happen to have this industrial grape bucket um, and it's a little tall but I just stuck two bricks in it so that that would be the uh, what am I trying to say your bucket needs to be at least wide enough to hold a brick or the width of a brick this center hole is what we're going to stick the tree um, end down into and it's gonna hold it really sturdy now your bucket doesn't need to be this narrow. You could use a wider one. And the thing to keep in mind is that it doesn't really matter because this obviously wouldn't fit in there, but we don't have this anymore. So you can really get creative. You could use um, like a plant pot or just a plastic bucket and then wrap it in some kind of fabric but let me show you how easy this is to do. So now that I've taken the stand off, I just stick this and make sure, sorry about that, I wanna make sure that it's going through both of those bricks. And as you can see, it doesn't stand absolutely perfectly straight, so I may wrap that bottom, the bottom of this, with, with a little bit of cardboard or something just to pack it in a little tighter. But, I mean, why throw out a perfectly good tree, right? So I'm going to add the top to the tree, fluff it out. I may even flock it. And I'm gonna stick this little guy on my front porch. So I'll show you how that looks when it's all done. I decided that I will flock the tree, but before I do it, I just wanted to show you how cute it looks. I mean, it was just sad that this tree was going to go to the landfill. So just this easy tip of using bricks and a bucket to support it when the stand is broken, it really works. This little guy's flocked. I think it seriously took me about five minutes to flock it. I've sprayed it well with water and I'm going to let it sit out here in the sun and then I'm going to move it onto my front porch once all the flock has hardened. If you are interested in seeing how easy it is to flock a tree and what product I recommend, I have a um, highlights, a video saved in my highlights that takes you step by step through the process and how I broke the rules and didn't follow the instructions to get a better result. I hope you check it out.